It's 720 at the Big 550 KTRS. I am Paul Harris. Filling in from McGraw today, Kelly Jackson here with me. On Friday, the city of Chesterfield filed a suit in Cole County Circuit Court against Chris Coster, the Attorney General of the State of Missouri, and the state's Department of Revenue because they don't like the way the sales tax system runs in St. Louis County. Here to explain that lawsuit and why he filed it is the mayor of Chesterfield, Bob Nation. Good morning, Bob. Good morning. What is it about the sales tax system that you don't like? Well, first of all, just to further explain, it's not just because we don't like it. We, we believe that it's unconstitutional. Uh, it's fundamentally uh, you know, unfair. And uh, <laughs> obviously, the reason, the reason we don't like it, other than the fact that we believe it's unconstitutional, is the fact that uh, it's unlimited as to the amount uh, of taxes that would normally go, come solely to Chesterfield are uh, left to the pool. Okay, now let's explain what the pool is. As I understand it, let's say somebody goes shopping out there in the Chesterfield Valley and they go to Lowe's or, or one of the restaurants out there or, or anywhere else in the city of Chesterfield. They buy something, they have to pay not just the state sales tax, but also the county sales tax, uh, that sales tax does not stay in Chesterfield. It goes into a sales tax pool, correct? Correct. Okay. What happens to that pool that makes you unhappy? Well, <laughs> you know, I, I think another question has to be asked before that, before, before you know, the answer to that question can be appreciated in perspective. Uh, I, I know we don't have a whole lot of time here, but you know, to begin with, this entire pool thing began back in 1977. It was voted on by the public, and then there were two, primarily two legislative changes done in 1984 and 1993. Those were done by the legislature without a vote of the public, and it's modified this original system, and uh, it divided it into uh, what they call point of sale cities and pool cities. Uh, the cities that existed at that time had a choice to become a point-of-sale city or a pool city. A pool city, essentially, of this one, first of all, the, this 1% tax that we're talking about was originally a municipal tax. Along the line, the name of that tax was changed to the county tax. So it's, it's misleading to, to call it a county tax at this point because... It, in fact, originally was a municipal tax intended for funding of municipal operations. So, uh, of the cities that ended up being pool, some of which chose to be pool, Chesterfield had no choice but to become a pool city when we were incorporated in 1988. That's the way the law was. And essentially, uh, this 1% goes into a pool, and then it's, re uh, and, and it's redivided. It's divided among the county and all of the other pool cities according to population. Although the county, uh, because of a couple of little quirks, uh, gets more out of the pool per capita than the other pool cities. Okay, but the problem as I understand it, as you've explained it, is somebody goes shopping in Chesterfield, they pay that 1% tax, it does not stay in Chesterfield, it gets put into this pool, and then Chesterfield doesn't get an equal amount back from that that it puts in. Right. Yeah, we, we give up uh, approximately, we're, we're projecting this uh, coming year, 2015, that we will give up approximately 54% uh, of what we put in. So in other words, for uh, almost for every $2 in tax revenue you collect for the county, only $1 of it comes back to the city of Chesterfield. The rest gets distributed to the other pool municipalities. Now, And the county. And, and the county takes a piece of it, of course. Right. Um, are the other pool municipalities as large as the city of Chesterfield? Uh, yes, uh, the city of Florissant is uh, larger in population. Uh, I believe uh, Chesterfield is is the uh, is the municipality uh, uh, that that contributes the largest amount in dollars to the pool, but we are not the largest in population. But you're saying because of new business and commerce that you are bringing in more money than these other municipalities? 
Yeah, I, I guess that's just the way, you know, things have evolved, you know. I mean, when, when Chesterfield was incorporated, Chesterfield Mall was already out here, so that was, you know, a big a big positive from the very beginning. Yeah. And we were a donor city to the pool, you know, from the very beginning. You know, a lot of, some people have asked, well, didn't you depend upon the pool when you were first incorporated? And, and the answer to that is no. We were a donor city to the pool, had no choice but to become a, a pool city when we were incorporated. Uh, and then, obviously, after the flood and the development that has occurred in the valley, then those those revenues and the percentage of, of the tax revenue that are collected have, have increased that are left in the pool. Okay, so what is it, Bob, that the city of Chesterfield wants in this lawsuit that it's filed against the state? Well, the lawsuit, uh, in challenging the constitutionality, you know, I would think, and I'm not a lawyer, obviously, um, that the whole thing is open. Uh, the constitutionally, there's I think believe there's uh, four counts, and you know this legalese is you know a little bit above my my pay grade, but uh, you know one count is we we, we charge that uh, the current statute is a special law that is unconstitutional. Okay. Uh, and and one of the other counts has to do with the fact that uh, the law. Um, there's a term called immutable fact. In other words, uh, uh, Chesterfield and other cities are stuck into this pool through an immutable fact. They're geographically, they're, they're, it's, uh, even if their population changes, uh, they, obviously they can't move geographically. Uh, but this law is, is the, St. Louis County is the only county in the state of Missouri that has this type of a law. Would you prefer that, that 1% that you're collecting be essentially just a city of Chesterfield tax that you not actually be part of the county and not part of that pool. Well, <laughs> you know, in in any any county other than St. Louis County, uh, that's the way it would be. And uh, you know, I, I guess the answer to that, uh, yes, of course, I'd prefer that. I don't think, uh, and this goes back on our previous attempts uh, uh, with the legislature, which we will continue to, uh, you know try to effect some changes with the with the legislature but I have said before that uh, you know we granted we have 90 municipalities in st. Louis County and um, you know it, it, it's um, you know we are fortunate we are blessed in Chesterfield because we do have the abundance of retail you know uh, development yep. that provides these taxes so I think it is only appropriate and fair that we share uh, uh, with with other municipalities because many of the shoppers that, that we're fortunate to have here in, in Chesterfield um, are residents of other municipalities. Yep. But the way the uh, statute is right now is there's virtually no limit whatsoever as to how much of those taxes that are generated are are left in the pool that go to the county and other municipalities. If someone shops in downtown St. Louis City, the city keeps all the money, right? Absolutely. If, 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 if somebody, these other point-of-sale cities, of which there are 33, if someone shops in those cities, those cities predominantly keep all of those taxes. There, there is an exception to that. And, and the pool cities, they put all their money in the pool, and it's re, you know, divided up according to population. Yep. The point-of-sale cities, uh, oh, I guess uh, Bridgeton, De Pere, uh, Brentwood, um, there's there's several of them. They they're essentially well point of sale. They they keep that. They, they keep, keep it there. Percent themselves. Uh. Now, having said that, they do due to the most recent legislative change enacted 20 years ago, over 20 years ago. They they are required to contribute to the pool, but on a limited basis. Right. So now, so, now I do have to ask you, Bob. Earlier this year, you threatened that if this weren't changed, Chesterfield would secede from St. Louis County. Does that mean you would become your own independent county, or would you do something like join St. Charles? Well, you know, when, when the St. Charles thing was mentioned, uh, you know, as, as I've said before, you know, when I made that statement, that was in a, a, uh, an agenda review meeting made to our council members, just kind of giving them a report and kind of expressing my frustration with the lack of success that we had in the legislature. The legislative session had just ended. And the, the, the St. Charles County, uh, what I really meant was, you know, I thought that, you know, it, ultimately if we can't 
you know, achieve success somehow, that we should consider seceding from St. Louis County because they're just they're just taking all all the tax dollars that are generated here. Uh, and uh, so the St. Charles County, the only reason that came in is if it if it were to make more sense to join with another adjacent county uh, as opposed to forming our own in, own county, that, that, that's that's the only reason I made that statement. Gotcha. All right. Well, the suit was filed on Friday afternoon. It'll take a while to work its way through the legal system, and we'll see what happens with it. Bob Nation, the mayor of Chesterfield, thanks for joining me here today. Okay. Thank you very much. I'm Paul Harris. In from McGraw today on the Big 550.